Graphic content of your discretion is advised. Ambulances pull up round the clock at Gaza's main Shifa hospital, offloading their casualties. Today and over the weekend, many of them have been the very young. She has nothing in the chest. She has nothing in the abdomen. Norwegian doctor Eric Foss, who is volunteering at Shifa, says that in the past 24 hours, he's seen more women and children among the casualties than on any other day since the Israeli offensive began. He says most of the injured men he's seeing are civilians. We were hit with a rocket. Here's my brother, says this little boy, as his brother wanders dazed and nursing an injury to his ear. Another child sheds tears nearby. A Palestinian doctor at Shifa Hospital says that when the Israeli airstrikes began last week, the first casualties they saw were fighters in military uniform. But after that day, until this day, he says, we didn't receive any men from the resistance or anyone in the military. All of them were civilians. It's not clear whether Hamas dead and wounded are being taken to a different hospital. The Israeli government claims that Hamas are hiding fighters and weapons at hospitals. But on this day, here at Shifa's emergency ward, the images are heartbreaking. A young girl moans for her mother as she lies in pain, doctors trying to treat her injured limbs. While a woman wails, where are our leaders? Can they have mercy on our children? All the dead are just lying around. <laughs> this injured mother weeps for her six-month-old baby. She says that he died after four days without food or water. A nurse trying to set up an IV in another ward says that they're treating five people from one family alone. Amid the chaos and the confusion and the shortages of medicine, electricity and water, the stench of death hovers. The morgue is overflowing, two bodies now crammed into each drawer. Not even the very youngest are immune, shoved into refrigerated storage until they can be claimed and buried. Christiana Manpour, CNN, Jerusalem.